Hi, I'm Sharla with Freezer Meals 101, and welcome to this edition of What's for Dinner. This week, uh, we made, we turned our Freezer Meals into our dinners, of course, as we usually do, and so I'll be showing you that. But something that happened that was a little bit different this week is that we started getting this produce basket bag thing. Um, from a local farm and the cool thing about that is that we never know what we're gonna get before it arrives so every Thursday we go and pick it up and then it's kind of a surprise you get whatever's in season whatever they had a good harvest of and then um, you have to think of what to make with that so we've been having some fun and we've been making some new dishes and trying to think outside the box that started last week so this was our second time getting it. Um, but this time there was a little bit of, a, we'll call it a mistaken identity. I accidentally <laughs> mistook something because I wasn't used to seeing these herbs. So anyway, I really need to get better on my plant identification. <laughs> so I'll share a little bit more with you about that later. But uh, I'm not afraid to show you my flaws and faults, and uh, you're about to see some today. Anyway, the first thing that we made this week was our saucy sausage sauce. <laughs> that one's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, just easy freezer meal sauce, and uh, cooked that up on the, in the skillet and cooked up some pasta for that and we just served that with some garlic bread. Now the garlic bread is something that I had made when I made a whole bunch of freezer side dishes and I really enjoyed having those in the freezer ready to go. Makes things a lot easier. So I will put the link right there to the video with all the freezer side dishes, including that garlic bread. The next thing that we had this week was just chili with buns. Um, we had been having a heat wave, I don't know, it must have been like two weeks ago, and this week started off really hot as well, but then it cooled down, and so it was nice to be able to have like kind of that comfort food, chili when it was a rainy day, and just really simple, just serve that with buns. Um, we did do a little bit of an addition. So we're just gonna drop a few frozen wine cubes into our chili. We're using red wine because that works best for the chili flavors. And what that does is create a really nice depth of flavor and just adds something that really makes your chili stand out. So if you happen to have some leftover wine cubes, you can use them for this or for other sauces. I actually have a video about how to use leftover wine. And those are just gonna melt right in there and become part of the chili and make it extra delicious. Jamaican jerk chicken, always a favorite when it comes to the freezer meals. It's one of those flavors that is just hard not to like, especially if you like things that have a bit of a kick. So this time we thawed that and cooked it up on the barbecue and I made some foil packets with that as well as a kale salad. Now I will go over to that day and show you what happened with the mistaken identity. So today was the second day that I went to pick up our produce bag. And it's really fun because you never know what you're gonna get. It's from a local farm, so you feel like you're supporting local. Um, actually, even the place that we pick it up is like a local store. So really fun. Um, kind of a little scary because like I said, you're not sure what you're gonna get. So you have to use Google to figure out how to use things like kohlrabi. 
And fun fact, I didn't think I'd ever eaten kohlrabi before because when I saw the kohlrabi and how it looks um, with all of the leaves and everything on it, it looked completely unfamiliar to me. But when I peeled it and sliced it and ate it, in fact, I like kohlrabi and I grew up eating it at my Tan Chazelle and Uncle Roger's because they always had it on their veggie trays. And they said it tastes better if you put salt on it and you just can eat it raw. But I'm also experimenting with some roasted kohlrabi recipes and things like that just for fun because I can. So this uh, vegetable basket thing has been fun so far, but we're only on week two. Um, we did get a lot of dill. We got a lot of dill. We got this much dill. And then last week we also had dill. So we're kind of adding dill to everything at this point. The good news is we like dill, but oh my, it's a lot of dill. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make some vegetable packets because it's too hot to turn the stove on or the oven. So I'm gonna make some foil vegetable packets that I can put in on the barbecue when we barbecue the Jamaican jerk chicken, which is a freezer meal, so that's super handy. Um, the first vegetable packet, I'm going to do beets, carrots, and the new potatoes. And I learned last week that new potatoes are different than baby potatoes. And they don't really have a skin on them. It's a very, very thin skin. And so you have to be careful how you cook them. So anyway, in that first packet, I'm going to do carrots, beets, and potatoes with a little bit of oil, like the tiniest little bit, and lots of dill because I think those vegetables will go really, really well with dill. And I have a lot of dill to get rid of. And then in the second vegetable packet, I'm just gonna do the yellow squash and the green squash, the zucchini, and just add some Italian seasoning, a little splash of olive oil, and that's it. We also are going to use a just a bagged kale salad um, throw that in a bowl and so for tonight's dinner we will be having the Jamaican jerk chicken on the barbecue these vegetable packets and the salad so it's actually a really nice healthy summer dinner fun fact this is how little I know about these kinds of things which is why I'm trying to learn <laughs> This stuff that I've just put all in my foil packets that I thought was dill uh, is not dill. It's fennel because <laughs> I can smell it and it's fennel. So I really hope that fennel goes well with these vegetables because if not, I guess I just wasted some really beautiful produce. <laughs> I put half of the zucchinis in a bowl so that I can put them in the fridge and we can cook them up another night this week, the next time that we're using the barbecue. And I'll just throw those into another foil packet. One of our most kid-friendly freezer meals is this pizza casserole. It's got kind of those pizza flavors and also includes pasta. So it's got all kinds of kid-friendly things in there. And it's super easy too because it cooks up in the slow cooker. So you just toss the full bag of ingredients into the crock pot and um, you take the staples off the pasta bag first, of course, and then um, you cook the pasta up separately on the stove top. And at the very end of cooking, you just stir the pasta in and then it's ready to go. Now our last meal this week, I took out two freezer meals because my daughter's fiance was over for dinner. It's really strange to say that. They are newly engaged. So um, we are planning their wedding for September actually in our yard. So <laughs> that has thrown life for a bit of a loop. 
and made me extra busy, but it's really such a privilege to be able to help them with that. And uh, it's really sweet to see super new young love and um, we're enjoying getting to know him and he's gonna be a great addition to the family. So anyway, he was over for dinner, so I wanted to take out an extra meal just in case we needed more with more people. Um, and so I took out a butter chicken and a chicken vindaloo and then we had that with nan and with rice and then I took up or took out some of the baby cucumbers that we got in that produce basket and sliced those up and added some feta cheese, some fresh mint from our herb garden, um, some baby tomatoes, uh, I'm trying to think of what else I put in there, some purple onions, and then I just kind of whipped up a really simple Greek style salad dressing, threw that on there, so it was kind of a Mediterranean-ish um, salad, and I put some lettuce in there as well. Our kids are always a big fan of those um, East Indian flavors, so, and they all love Nan. And what I did with the Nan is just, I, I got store-bought Nan, because I'm not ambitious enough to make my own Nan at this point. Um, and then I just put it into foil and warmed it up in the oven, because I don't really know if that's the proper thing to do with Nan or not, but anyway, that's what I did. So that's it. That is what we ate for dinners this week. As you can hear, it was quite an adventurous week with the new engagement and wedding planning and all kinds of things that we had happening, but we still managed to um, feed the kids. <laughs> so that's always a bonus, right? Uh, that's the benefit of freezer meals is that no matter what is happening or what kind of craziness or chaos is going on in our house, we can still manage to get healthy meals on the table every night. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that little subscribe button to find lots of easy, family-friendly recipes and happy cooking.